everybody, Norm over here, and I've got the gang here. We've got Michael, we've got Todd, and we've got Nick. And, you know, I know some of you guys, you know, ask to, you know, just kind of get to know some of the guys here. We've got John and Joel in the back doing repair. We've got Jen behind the camera. We've got okay. Mark from the All Guitar Network doing something here, too. And, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to say some people, uh, you know, and, and I don't read internet comments and stuff because I know people are going to say, Norm is a raging duck or whatever, and that's okay, <laughs> quack, quack. But one guy said, Norm doesn't really respond to a lot of my comments and stuff asking for me to respond back. Well, anybody who knows me knows that I'm an internet whiz. I've never texted in my life. The man can't I, send a text. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's nothing personal, but Norm is pretty pathetic when it comes to anything technical. So, um, in fact, Norm doesn't do much good at anything other than selling guitars. But uh, these guys, you know, these are all working musicians, you know. Michael, you were out with Alan Raymond. Yep. Um, and Todd, you've been out with a lot of people you can mention or not mention. <laughs> Too many to mention. <laughs> there Too you many go. To mention, yeah. And Nick, you know, is playing with the automatics, you know, and... Uh, yeah, a couple of, I've always got something on the go to kick me out of trouble. Yeah. Did a gig with the Broken Models last weekend, which was nice. Cool. Well, yeah. They're all a lot taller than I am. And I <laughs> uh, used to play with uh, some of the guys from... Uh, little feet. Well, Richie from Little Feet was my uh, my my dear 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 friend, and we had a we had a crazy good bar band up there in Topanga Canyon. We used to set that little set that little place on fire with some of the local guys, Eric Lynn from uh, Shangri La Studios, and a fantastic keyboard player Robin Moxie, Joe Carnes, who's with uh, Fitz and the Tantrums now. Very and we had a we had a great little bar up there. Taylor Hawkins used to come up there and play uh, Chevy Metal, all those guys. And you, you play sometimes with Justin from Tool as well. Oh, I you? do get that too, whenever I can. Yeah, he's a he's a dear friend of mine. Yeah. yeah, Justin's a really good guy and a friend of the stores. And uh, he likes vintage guitars now. He does. They? Yeah, he's been buying some stuff from yeah. us. And really good guy and a great player, obviously. Yeah. And uh, so, just, you know, you guys all love being at a guitar store because you all play guitar like crazy. Michael, what do you, I know you like on the electric offset guitar. Yeah, I like, uh, I, well, I specifically like the Jazzmaster a lot. Um, you know, people always go like, well, don't you like the Jaguar too? I do, but they're totally different guitars to me. So it's specifically what, the Jazzmaster. What's Jazz the big difference? The pickups, I would say. Yeah. Scale length. Scale length. Um, but I, I just, it's almost like the Jazzmaster is warm, and I feel like the Jag is not really. Well, Jag doesn't brittle. sustain yeah. as much, yeah, 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 but yeah. it's got yeah. its own It's beautiful, thing. no, it's yeah. just a different thing. So the thing. Jazzmaster is slightly longer scale length. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And of course, the single coil, what is that pickup? The Jazzmaster. They call them like soap boxes or soap bars, but they're not P90s. A lot of people think they're like they call them P90s, but they're not. Right. So. And Ty, I know you like Jazzmaster too. I play Jazzmaster, a uh, vintage Jazzmaster, um, but mostly I play a Martin Dreadnought at home. And all of your amazing Dreadnoughts here, like this is That's a, a D21. This is a 1958 D21, and uh, it's a great mix of a D28 and a D18. Brazilian rosewood back and sides, and the mahogany neck, no diamond volute. Um, just a fantastic guitar. And Michael, um, this guitar here is an L double O and it was. <laughs> it was, was a We really take care of this stuff great here. Um, what's really <laughs> unusual about this guitar? His face, look. There you go. He's oh, got that look, I'm buying it he? now. See that? Um, this has got an elevated fingerboard, which is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. It and like it's very L unusual. There are a lot of variations on the L double O and L O. Um, this has binding on the top, but not on the back. Black with the white guard. But the elevated fingerboard is very unusual. Nick, well, you're not sure. making out with the dogs. Uh, well, you know, I'm uh, holding a 330, but um, as you know, Norman, I've known Norm about 30 years. I've been buying guitars from him for that long. And uh, my favorites are all stuff that I've, I've got off Norm 20 years. I've got a 53 Tele that will never leave my, uh, leave my grasp in my 57 Strat, which is just... For me, the best sounding one I've ever heard. But, is that the red one? Uh, the red one. Yeah. Yeah. Which is out of staggering guitar. What do you like about those? But this, I know this is one of your favorites as well. This is what we, we like to refer to as like a couch guitar or a TV guitar because with the pickups off, you can 
still here, plenty to just while you're watching TV. And you know, it's it's great, it's nice and light, they're so comfortable you forget you're holding it. Um, the, I love these things. So P90s nice. is completely hollow. The early ones had the shorter neck uh, join, and like in the late 60s, they went to like the longer. Uh, longer tenor. Ten so, Todd, what's active guitar sound like a little bit? Play a little bit. Wow, sounds great. So Todd's our newest guy here, and he's uh, he was a customer for many years, and also like one of the really good guys, and he can really play. So he fit all the uh, qualifications. Yeah. And uh, Michael, I'm not sure he just bangs guitars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what he does yet. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a look, 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 look at his face. He's, it. he's yeah. blushing now. Uh, <laughs> what does this guitar sound like, Michael? Play all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> A little out tune, but <laughs> very nice, very pretty. Yeah. So, when he's he actually plays a lot and he's really good when he's not banging guitars and destroying. <laughs> Thank you, Norm. But he, what we really like him for is Except that look resume. that he has. You know, I love that the what? happy look right now. Oh my God, I do. He, have he just looks like he ate the baby or he ate the baby's bath water or something. I don't know. It's, it's now it's like stuck that. on my face. Oh, so, oh my God. And then of course there's Little Bear over here, who's our store mascot. Little Bear. Little Bear. He's mad at me because he's shy. Yes. He's shy today. He's shy. This we'll is the little bear, Go. and this is uh, yeah. Frank Stallone's fiance. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, oh he was, he was he's coming man. after you. And that's Larry over there, and that's Mark. That's his the Law Guitar Network, which you guys got to be wondering. There's some really cool stuff happening at the All Guitar Network, and you know, Michael, when you were doing those. Lemo you demos, go, right? Yeah, we'll People were asking, you know, where are the Lemo demos on the affordable favorites and stuff like that? Because we're going to start doing that on the All Guitar Network, which is free, <laughs> and it's a nap. And how do you get to the All Guitar Network? Mark, you can speak. Just go to the <laughs> App Store and Google, uh, well, go to Google Play or the App Store and uh, type in All Guitar Network and download it. Or you can go to www.allguitarnetwork.com. We're also doing uh, a little bit of behind the scenes of Guitar of the Day, too. Uh, we've been doing yeah. some interview talks, just about a little bit more elaborate talk about what we've done that day. So, it's pretty cool. And translating for Mark, that's all. A L L Guitar Network. That's I mean, he's I from Australia. I can barely understand him. It's amazing that we get along as well as we can. Nick, I don't know what the hell he's talking about half the time. I, I really understand each other. I rarely know myself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and I don't know what I'm saying right, most no of the worries, time. Mate. But anyhow, we have a lot of fun here. These are the gang. These these are the guys uh, that are here We're all the time. And you know, it's almost like work, except uh, sometimes we get paid for it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we're not horsing around and all that kind of stuff. And Jen, who is the voice behind all this stuff, you hear her reason. voice. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's reason, sometimes it's <laughs> no reason. But uh, anyhow, we love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, sticking with us. You know, we really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, sometimes I never know if what we're doing is pleasing to you guys or not but people seem to be liking it so we'll continue on and if you don't like it you can throw an egg at the tv screen and the computer <laughs> but uh it won't get to us that way <laughs> norm drag guitars it's all guitar nice network right here mr guilty over here <laughs> todd nick larry little bear and mark and hiding in the back is Jen and also Selfie. John and Joel. Whoop, whoop. So, there you go, right whoop, here. Whoop.